Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akium throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, so this lesson is going to be about, you know, saying when war cracks off, because war will crack off and it will happen, you know, World War III. Um, the women of this world, the prideful women of this world are going to experience uh, all kind of hell and not just them but the men also the, the scriptures talk about how the men shall be like women in that in that day you know they're going to travail like women all right they're going to be like a woman in travail all right and you know the woman is the weaker vessel but you could never tell a woman that in these, in these days you know because they got that feminist movement all right, that feminist movement has made them very proud and uh, has given them a sense of uh, sense of uh, of pride and arrogance. And it, it, it boasts them, you know, saying to, to fight against the order of the Lord, which is, is God, his son, man, woman, child. All right. They don't look at it like that. They look at it like they're equal with men because they have some type of uh, financial uh, stability. So they want to compete with men. So the order is out, out of the way because they feel like because they have a certain amount of money, they feel like they could tell men um, that they're beneath them now and that they don't need them. Even though the reason why they're even capable of even living the life is because of the, the the society that men have built. In the house they they buy, a bunch of women didn't make that. They did. Men did. The car they drive wasn't manufactured and, and put together and, and molded into what it is by a bunch of women. Men did that. In the building that was built... For them, those men to go and build that car was built by men. The bridge you drive over to go to work, a man built that. You know, a man was hanging 30 feet in the air over <laughs> over a, a, a fucking a Navy fucking huge amount of water you know saying to 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 steal together certain materials so that you can you know saying put together this this massive bridge like i look at the brooklyn bridge you look at all that water at the bottom like some people can't handle that type of shit but men there's men that put that together so what i'm saying is is that women you know saying have lost their place in society you know what I'm saying? And, and they are boastful and proud as hell. So when war happens, everything goes back to normal. Why? Because women are going to want to go back to being women. And men are going to have to be the men to fight. All right? And when women are going to learn their place when danger. See, when danger happens, that's when one woman goes back to her, her place. But when she's comfortable, now she wants to um, compete with men. And that's just out of order. All right, so I'm going to play this clip and get some scriptures. Let's say an 18-year-old man who doesn't want to go to war, take Ukraine, for example. All the women could leave the country. All the men had to stay. You were a man between the ages of 18 and like 60 or 65. If you're a Ukrainian woman, you get to go to Stockholm. You get to go to Great Britain. You get to continue your hot girl summer. You know what the Ukrainian men were doing? Getting fucking massacred. So let's talk about privilege. Let's talk about privilege. They have to defend their country. If World War III is around the corner, there's no feminists when Russia invades. There's no feminists when China invades. 
all these things that you often complain about, when shit hits the fan, we revert to our traditional gender roles. You can't have feminism when, when there's a military conflict. Let's say an 18-year-old and all you saw was them with those blank stares because deep down they know that's how it's going to be. But truthfully, they don't feel like it's going to happen. A lot of people don't feel like World War III is going to happen in, the, in their lifetime. Well, they're in for a rude awakening because it's going to happen. All right? It's going to happen no matter what. All right? And women are going to resort back to their feminine ways um, when it does. All right. Matter of fact, let me. Uh, this wasn't even. I didn't even had this one ready. I think it's four and one. I think it's four and one. Yeah. So in in in, that, in those days, you know, women are gonna resort back to the role of a woman. All right. This is Isaiah four and one. It says, "In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man." saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach so to take away their suffering shame and all that they're going to take hold of the man because it's going to be a righteous man in that day all right that the lord is going to be dealing with and he's going to help them all right and also, just in general, like, even a wicked man, <laughs> all right, is going to have a, a ton of women looking for them to save them because they're going to have skills. Like, there's a lot of wicked men out there with skills. There's a lot of dudes out there who have um, weapons. They're good in weapons. A lot of dudes that are good in, you know what I'm saying, certain survival tactics, you know. But a, but a, all, all in all, a woman's going to resort back to a woman, all right? Cause when it's danger, that's that's when they want to go and to save me. Oh, the when didn't they want to do the? But women, women first, women and children. Like how in Titanic, when the ship was going down, they didn't have enough lifeboats. It was women and children, only women and children, women and children first, and the men had to stay behind. But you're gonna see in those days of danger, it's gonna get to a point where it won't even matter. It's gonna be all for one. <laughs> and, and and not for all, okay? It's gonna be save your ass in that day, or else. This is a uh, second Edris fifteen and forty nine. It says, "I will send plagues upon the widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, uh, to waste thy houses with destruction and death." All right, so that's gonna happen, man. All right, so it's going to be widowhood out here, man. So the women are going to be without their husbands. You know, the men without their their wives. It's going to be that. All right, these women out here, boastful and proud as hell. Well, they're going to, they're going to see in that day. They're going to see the terror of the Lord in that day. All right. Verse 57. It says, Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall uh, through the sword, thy city shall be broken, and all thy and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. All right, damn, it's, it's going to be ter terrible out here. It's going to be hell out here. All right, it's going to be hell on earth out here. It says. Uh, this is a uh, second Andrew sixteen. 33 it says the virgins shall more the virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms the women shall mourn having no husbands their daughters shall mourn having no helpers it's not going to be anybody to help you why because they're, because the men are going to be dying so you're going to be left alone and you ain't going to be able to ride your bins away from this okay your bins truck and all that you ain't going to be able to go to your four hundred thousand dollar home you got because you're a nurse all right you know and all that shit you know and 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 fucking sitting around eating popcorn watching um housewives of hollywood and shit like that it's gonna be real danger out here man and then and then you're gonna need a cloak all right the scriptures talk about how a man shall be a covering 
for a woman. All right. But a lot of these women ain't going to have a covering. All right. They're not going to be covered. They're going to be exposed to the sword, and to the pestilence, and to all hell on this earth. Okay. Why? Because they're proud. And not just them, the men also. Some, some proud ass dudes out here, too. So, the, all in all, the wicked are going to suffer in that day. So, with that, all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai.